Personally, I've always been a Canon person. I've been with them all the way through from their entry level cameras and I've used a lot of their high end cameras as well. However, the one thing that keeps baffling people when they enter the Canon lineup is the weird naming convention that comes along with all their cameras, that's me included. Hello and welcome to Triple Tech and welcome to Canon's Camera Lineup Explained. Okay, so let's start at the very top. Weirdly enough, Canon's most high-end, top-of-the-range cameras are actually the most easy to understand, naming convention-wise. You can tell which cameras are Canon's high-end cameras by the fact that they only have one digit followed by a D in their name. So, for example, this could be the 5D or the 1D. And the last thing to note about these high-end cameras with the one digit followed by a D is that the lower the number goes, the more high-end the camera is, the more expensive it is, generally speaking. So the 1D is considered a better and more expensive camera than the 5D, for example. And then you have the iterative development that goes along with these cameras, such as the 5D, which goes from the Mark 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are just improvements upon those models. Okay, so the next step down the line is what many consider to be Canon's semi-pro line of cameras. And these cameras are the ones that are named with two digits plus a D on the end. And this is when the naming conventions of Canon start to get a bit confusing. You see, in the semi-pro line of cameras with the two digits followed by the D, the higher that number, the more high-end the camera is considered and the more expensive it is. This is, of course, different from the high-end cameras that Canon do, in which their numbers, the lower they are, the better it is. It's the opposite. It's the higher, the better. This is with the two digits naming system. I can't say digit, digit, digit. Two digit, digit, two digit, digit. Oh my god, my English today. Oof, it's not good. So, for example, the 80D in this range is better than the 70D, and the 77D is somewhere in between. And now further down the line we go, the more simple the naming conventions get. You see, now when you get to the three digit and four digit uh, cameras, they're actually the same as the two digits, in that the higher that number, the more premium the camera is. So after you get to the bottom of the two digit cameras, you get into the three digit cameras, which are the more consumer level cameras, and then you also get the four digit cameras after the three digit cameras. All of which, as I said, the higher that number in that range, the better. Now I hope that clears up a lot of the confusion you might have had with the naming conventions of Canon DSLRs, and I hope now you're one step closer to finding that camera that you want to buy. I do recommend looking at other videos though about the cameras that you're looking at, because the naming conventions is just a guideline. All cameras have different features, and some of those features might be of more value to you, and therefore one camera might be worth more to you than another one, even if the naming conventions don't support it. So that's pretty much it, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, do hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I like it when we have creative discussions down in the comment section. It's always interesting to see what you guys are talking about. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We do want to do well. We do want to grow as a channel and as a community. Thank you very much. That's pretty much it. And I'll see you in the next video.